Hey everyone, Stephanie from Scrap and Create and we're working on page two, page two. Now page two is gonna be super simple and the reason I'm keeping it so simple is because page one is so heavy. Uh, so I wanna keep things pretty light on this side as far as interactive elements. It's just simply gonna have a pocket. So this pocket is 11 by four and a half, 11 by four and a half, and you're gonna score three sides to make a pocket. So the pocket is going to go the entire length of the page. And um, I also want to let you know that because of the way I designed the album and the distribution of paper, I'm not completely sure I'm going to do um, page inserts. I also found that when you have an album that's about 10 inches um, wide, it just gets more and more difficult to get those inserts in and out. Um, it's harder to get them all the way down, especially if you have magnets on both sides of your page. Sometimes they're drawing to each other, so trying to get a pa paper to pass through can be difficult. So I'm kind of on the fence about that. I think I'll have enough paper, designer paper, to decorate them. I'm just not sure I'm gonna do them. So that's just a heads up. I haven't decided just yet. There's, because it's an eight by 10 album, there's a, there's plenty of photo space in here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over and make sure I've got it turned right side up, and I do. There we go. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use here on the pocket. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And um, I love this page. So I'm just gonna have this be a continuous design. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, it's 12 inches, so I needed to trim it down to 10. So I took um, paper off both sides so that the, the queen bee would be center. So you may wanna consider doing that. That's It's really just a preference, but it is from the 12 by 12. And let me see, does this fit? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm just gonna ink it and lay this down. So like I said, very simple. But I will add some inserts. I'm going to um, definitely put some effect ephemera cards in here, but also some photo mats. Yeah, I should do it this way. kind of a large piece to manage, so. Oh, man. I actually trimmed this a little bit shorter than it should have been. I'm going to have a little bit of a gap here. Which I don't like, but it'll be fine. So because I have a gap underneath this cut, um, what I'm going to do, when I get it turned right, is just go ahead and have the pocket come flush to the edge, like so. And so there's my little color block. Normally it's on the pocket. In this case, it's going to be on the top. As I trimmed it just a little bit off. I do need to take a smidge off the bottom. 
so that we have We want a little bit of a border around the bottom. Okay, that ought to do it. such pretty paper. Okay, so like I said, I'm definitely going to put some ephemera cards in here, and then I'm also going to add some photo mats, but I'm not sure how many just yet. i to see how much paper I have left over. Okay, I'll be back right. Okay. So 